You see, Stoicism isn't just about ancient philosophy. It's a practical guide for our everyday lives. It reminds us of some essential truths. First, it tells us that being assertive, standing up for ourselves, and maintaining self-respect aren't just nice traits to have. They're the very building blocks of our integrity. It's like the foundation of a strong house. Without it, everything else can crumble. When we embrace Stoicism, we're embarking on a journey, a transformation of sorts. It's like setting out on an adventure to discover the secrets of respecting ourselves, even when the world around us might not always show us the same courtesy. It's about finding that inner strength to uphold our values and self-worth. Now we'll explore five situations you must not tolerate disrespect. Let's break down situation one, boundary violation. Picture this, you're in a situation where someone keeps pushing your boundaries, making you feel like your personal space and autonomy are constantly under siege. It's like they're invading your emotional territory. Now, here's where Stoicism steps in as your trusty guide. It reminds us that it's crucial to stand up for ourselves in these moments. It's not about being confrontational or rude, but about asserting what's important to us, our boundaries. It's like saying, hey, this is where I draw the line, and I won't let it be crossed. But here's the interesting part. Stoicism tells us that it's not disrespectful to assert ourselves. In fact, it's an act of self-respect. It's like giving yourself a friendly pat on the back, saying, I value myself, and I won't compromise my well-being just to please someone else. So, in this scenario, Stoicism is your trusty sidekick, reminding you that it's perfectly okay to prioritize your self-respect over excessive respect for the other person. It's all about finding that balance and maintaining your inner peace in the face of boundary violations. Let's tackle situation two, toxic relationships. Imagine being in a relationship, whether it's a friendship, a romantic partnership, or even a workplace connection, where things just don't feel right. It's like you're constantly navigating a minefield of negativity and emotional turmoil. We've all been there, right? Well, here's where Stoicism steps in, offering us some pearls of wisdom. It tells us that in these situations, it's perfectly okay, even wise, to put ourselves first. It's not about being selfish, it's about self-preservation. So, when Stoicism advises us to prioritize our own well-being, it's like saying, hey, you matter too. It's a reminder that our emotional and mental health should never be sacrificed at the altar of a toxic relationship. It's about recognizing that your self-respect is worth safeguarding. Stoicism teaches us that distancing ourselves from individuals who bring emotional harm isn't an act of disrespect toward them. It's an act of self-love. It's like choosing to protect your own heart and sanity, rather than subjecting yourself to constant negativity. Let's tackle situation two. Toxic relationships. Imagine being in a relationship, whether it's a friendship, a romantic partnership, or even a workplace connection, where things just don't feel right. It's like you're constantly navigating a minefield of negativity and emotional turmoil. We've all been there, right? Well, here's where Stoicism steps in, offering us some pearls of wisdom. It tells us that in these situations, it's perfectly okay, even wise, to put ourselves first. It's not about being selfish, it's about self-preservation. So when Stoicism advises us to prioritize our own well-being, it's like saying, hey, you matter too. It's a reminder that our emotional and mental health should never be sacrificed at the altar of a toxic relationship. It's about recognizing that your self-respect is worth safeguarding. Stoicism teaches us that distancing ourselves from individuals who bring emotional harm isn't an act of disrespect toward them. It's an act of self-love. It's like choosing to protect your own heart and sanity, rather than subjecting yourself to constant negativity. Now let's delve into Situation 3. Manipulation and Exploitation Imagine this scenario. You're dealing with someone who seems to be a master of mind games. It's like they've got a hidden agenda and you feel like a pawn in their chess game. Your well-being doesn't exactly seem to be their top priority, right? Now, picture Stoicism as your trusty ally in this situation. It's like having a wise friend by your side, 
showing you how to be a sharp observer. It teaches you to recognize those sneaky manipulative tactics for what they truly are, like having a mental shield against manipulation. But here's the real gem. Stoicism doesn't just stop at recognizing it. No, it goes a step further. It tells you that it's perfectly fine not to give these manipulators undue respect. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not about being rude or disrespectful in return. It's about safeguarding your own values and principles. It's like telling yourself, I won't let someone else's manipulation compromise my integrity. So in this scenario, stoicism becomes your secret weapon, your guide to navigate the tricky waters of manipulation and exploitation. It's all about protecting your own moral compass, staying true to your values, and not allowing those who try to play games with your mind to steer you off course. Remember, in the face of manipulation, stoicism empowers you to hold your ground with dignity and strength. Situation 4. Discrimination and Prejudice Now let's talk about something that's crucial in today's world. Discrimination and Prejudice Stoicism has some wisdom to offer here. Imagine you're in a situation where someone's promoting harmful ideologies, like discrimination or prejudice. Stoicism encourages us not to just stand by and let it slide. No way. It's like a friendly nudge saying, hey, let's speak up and promote justice. But here's the kicker. Stoicism reminds us to do this while keeping our dignity intact. It's not about shouting matches or heated arguments. It's about calmly but firmly saying, I won't tolerate this unfairness, and I'll stand up for what's right. Situation 5. Unethical Behavior All right, let's shift gears to another situation. Unethical Behavior You know, those times when people are doing something shady or downright wrong. Stoicism tells us not to blindly go along with it, just because everyone else is. Nope. It advises us to stick to our moral compass. It's like having an inner moral GPS saying, stay true to yourself and your values. So if you find yourself in a scenario where people are engaging in wrongdoing, Stoicism says, hey, don't compromise your principles for the sake of fitting in. Be the moral compass you want to see in the world. In a nutshell, whether it's discrimination, prejudice, or unethical behavior, Stoicism encourages us to be the champions of justice and integrity while keeping our cool and dignity intact. It's like having a wise, philosophical friend whispering guidance in our ears when life gets tricky. In these scenarios, Stoicism underscores the importance of assertiveness, self-esteem, and the bravery to confront harmful actions or conduct as the cornerstones of upholding our integrity. Embrace Stoicism and it will guide you towards self-respect, even when faced with disrespect. Keep in mind, it's not merely about philosophy, it's about embodying a wise way of life.